Hey YouTube, so what I'm working on today is just this York rake or landscape rake, whatever you want to refer to it as. Uh, it's Cat 1 attachment and I mean it actually works fine with the quick hitch and everything. But the problem I have with it is just because it's such a big implement, and this was actually a 6 footer I believe when I got it, and I actually have cut it down since then. But the problem I have is just with the clearance. As you can see I probably only got about five or so inches off the ground. So the problem you have with that low of clearance is anytime you go up an incline or down an incline and then back up, you're digging in in the back side, as well as being able to clear out what you've accumulated in the rake itself. It, it's pretty much impossible without having to back over the top of it uh, with the tractor, which is uh, you know cumbersome and you know kind of dangerous to any of the exposed you know components underneath it so I'd rather not have to do that so I, I'm thinking if I cut three inches off every single one of those tines there that'll give me you know a little bit more clearance where it should be a little bit more user friendly for a small tractor like this again on a big tractor this isn't really going to be that big of an issue but on something smaller where you're adapting normal category one attachments to it it becomes a problem there you can see how I've cut it off I just made it equal but then once I took out some of the uh, teeth uh, that's just how it worked out with one extra spot on this end and I can always add more in but uh, that's why I made it like this it's just otherwise everything's getting clogged up in it all the time if you don't have enough uh, space between the teeth I mean, you're basically just plowing the dirt instead of, uh, you know, combing through it and pulling out the rocks and the sticks and the roots. Or this attachment is pretty much irreplaceable. So yeah, I'll get to it. I think I might make a stand for it as well. As right now, I've just been putting like a bucket underneath it to get it off uh, with the quick hitch, but it's kind of a pain to do. And especially with now shortening the tines on it, I'll have to rig up something else anyways. So yeah, let's get to it. seriously how easy this plasma cutter makes things. Any of them imperfect edges are just going to wear off anyway so it doesn't matter. On to figuring out something real quick on uh, some type of jack stand for this thing. I'll bring it back when I figure it out. Alright you guys so I went down by my metal pile and kind of dug up some things that should work for this. So I'm going to use this as a little foot just to spread out the weight on the on the ground or wherever I'm taking it off on. And this is gonna be my actual jack, I guess you'd say. I'm gonna cut cut some of that foot off. Um, but then this is just gonna get welded right to that foot. And then it's gonna get sleeved 
through a chunk of this pipe here. And that's just gonna sit like so on here. And I'm gonna cut a hole through this uh, just flat stock here. Or I'm gonna cut a hole through this plate here and leave it stick up far enough so then I'll be able to fit a pin through and not interfere with this um, channel here. And then this is just gonna come up through just past there. That way I can put the pin through and it'll hold this upright. And then I'll also put a hole at the bottom here, which I'll drill actually once it's all put together. But that way when I pull this all the way up, it'll just be sticking out the top here. And then that bottom plate will be flush with this. So that's the plan, I'll get to work on it and I'll let you guys watch maybe in a time lapse or something. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment if you got any questions and make sure to hit the subscribe button.
Thank you.